All right, so I kind of wanted to revisit an old video I did a while back. A lot of people always ask me, hey, they comment on the video, um, you know, why did you say this? I thought you really enjoyed Naruto. If you could tell from the title, uh, the original video was something along the lines of Dragon Ball Z destroys Naruto. And it was kind of me addressing a lot of people that were really, you know, just being very, very, I guess, obnoxious and using Naruto in that way. For example, they would say stuff like, Naruto's better than Gundam, better than Dragon Ball Z, better than this and that. And it would just be for no reason. So I kind of went on defense and I kind of went a little overboard. And as well, at the time, I wasn't, I believe, completely caught up with Naruto. Or I believe I was just like on the original. I kind of just want to go back in and clarify some things and, you know, uh, show the change. And since I've seen the series exactly, you know, how much different I feel about it. Alright, so for starters, back then I kind of said some stuff like, there's only two characters in the entire series that has any character development. It's Naruto and Sasuke, nobody else. And that's definitely not true. For starters, Shikamaru has a lot of character development from the beginning. He's just this guy. He's always bored. He doesn't feel like doing anything. And where we at now, anyway, he's more responsible. You know, he knows that now he's the one protecting the younger kids in the village and the people in the village. So, you know, that's one character off the bat. You got Hinata. Although she hasn't developed completely, she definitely has developed from, you know, being very shy and stuff like that. That, not really wanting to battle scared to fight and you know in the pain invasion arc she just jumps out and goes after pain to fight him even though she doesn't win or nothing like that but that shows character development that she was you know scared probably wouldn't have done any of that in the beginning of the series to now you know she's jumping in big battles even sakura you could say developed a bit from the original to shippuden you know she went from kind of a weakling didn't really know how to fight or anything like that uh wasn't mature with her feelings to you know from the original naruto to shippuden i still believe she has some feelings for sasuke but at the same time she matured in the fact that when she told Naruto you know to stop chasing Sasuke I don't want you to chase him no more don't worry about it and in the original she would have never did that definitely a character development there you know she also fought Sazuri in the beginning of Shippuden when uh, they were going at it and she defeated Sazuri so you know definitely that's character development and a lot of other characters you know Kakashi we learned a lot more about him from exactly why is he so mysterious and quiet and you know just his character changed a bit over the time over the course he didn't understand I remember back when why Sarutobi couldn't put down um, Orochimaru back in the days but now he sees it with Sasuke and you know that shows a change again he understands more situations Itachi we see character change within him he went from we just always thought he was just this evil guy to he actually cared about his brother and we see a lot of developments with him so there's a lot of character development in the series as far as popularity goes I didn't give it its credit as well you know in the United States Naruto is probably one of the biggest animes at the moment definitely has a huge fan base if you on YouTube you know over here there's a lot of people love Naruto it still has DVDs it still has video games coming out it's definitely one of the most popular ones so I didn't give it credit in that aspect as well with Dragon Ball Z of course it's an amazing story and if you want to compare start off with action between the two DBZ that's one of the main things that it has that is like superior to every anime I do still say that DBZ's action is like there's no contest with anything because you got these people that were made to be superhuman just incredible OP if you want to call it powers that not OP because they're not overpowered a lot of these people deserve it and you know especially Goku he trained every bit of what he got so you know as far as action goes I still say that DBZ is superior to every other uh, shonen for the most part when it comes to that but you know uh, as far as like uh, depth within the story DBZ does have depth in it but I feel as though writing over time because remember DBZ is from the 90s and 80s and to now writing has gotten a lot better as far as anime goes and manga goes because it's like there's stuff like in Naruto for example stuff will be set up in the beginning and then you'll start learning about it later on you know Naruto's QB thing we didn't learn about it more until later on it keeps being developed and with Dragon Ball Z it's just kind of all laid out this is what it is this is how it is and you know you just keep on going from there so I d definitely got to say that the writing in Naruto not everything is better but there's more depth to it there's more revelations there's more stuff that is more um intricate in it you know it's just there's more into it as far as dragon ball z is just you know laid out right here race was destroyed this is what it is but overall you know they're both amazing series they're both really you know incredible and when i made the, the video dbz destroys naruto I probably wasn't fair 
to you know just the whole series in general and i just wanted to make this video to go back in and say you know there's stuff that dbz does better like action you know it definitely has this feel of just this mystical adventure you know it just has that feel but naruto does have amazing writing it, it does get very intricate in a lot of parts it's also a very popular series in and of itself as well it's been going i believe the manga came out in 98 or 99 and we're in what 2012 and it's still going so you know you got to give respect there as well and you know naruto has more competition than dbz did back in the day you know for dbz to become a legend it didn't really have much competition especially in the united states it just had what pokemon and gundam so naruto it did a lot for what it's done and it definitely deserves some praise and just wanted to make this video to say that they're both awesome animes they're both both awesome manga and they both do what they do best but yeah that's all i wanted to say with this quick video uh let me know what you think if you've seen the original video i'll actually put it down here so you can check it out for yourself um you know just wanted to clarify things now that i've seen more of naruto and overall just you know a better comparison and a better view of both series and how they're both great that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for Naruto and Dragon Ball Z because they're both awesome series and they both definitely deserve a lot of respect and praise. I'm for Neverworld and as always people have an awesome day.